Okay. All right. You ready? I right, yo. Shout out to Black Rolling Stones. We got them in the house. Maybe stop brand. They over at Nightline showing love. We're gonna have them on and show them blow them up and uh, you know do our thing today. All right. Who's that? So we're back with A Plug here on Real Review. I got one more question before we get to the fun stuff. Yeah. And we're talking about like who you're into and whatnot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to say it. Who right now is like your least favorite person in the game? Like, and not person, not, not not personally, but mm. music wise. Like who is it that you just like whenever you hear the music, you gotta change the station, you you put a different song, whatever. Like it's just like nah, not for me. Hmm. That's an interesting question, like, I don't really listen to the radio that much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, me, like, like, whatever I just described previously, like, where it's like, I don't understand, or it really don't have no message, really some substance, where I feel like it's like, you know, or it's never been like, or it's not even a hot song, or whatever, or it's just some shit that... It's just corny, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, a lot of music. Rap. It's a lot of it out there. Like, I don't want to really... Name names. Yeah, name names and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, I got mixtapes. Like, I got the Young Thug vs. A Thug out there right now. It's on um, Audio Mac, SoundCloud, you know what I'm saying? Google that on YouTube. Just Google it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to pop up. You know, I just want everybody to check that out. So I do do mixtapes. So, like, yo... I'm better than artists that's in the game, like, you feel me? Right. Like, that's all I'm saying. Right. Like, not in the, I'm in the game. Like, this, this is not even a game. But that's just however you want to look at it. Like, you know, the industry, let's say industry, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm just showing that, yo, like, you know, because the world is just brainwashed, like, to what they hear, and they need to really take a look at a real artist out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Listen to my music, you know what I'm saying? Really critique that. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if I'm really hot. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me know what you think about it. Like, don't just listen to one or two songs. Listen to the whole album. And then I feel like, yo, I can listen to what you got to say about me. Because now you gave me your ear. Now you, you get to tell me. And comments, leave, leave comments. Let me know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm yo, we got the we got the, we got the cool around. Like, it's an open forum. I'm really... You know, I'm, I'm networking on, on the social networking. You know what I'm saying? I, I actually do send out my email blasts and keep everything going and doing all of that. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep people in tune. I go, I'm really consistent with that. You know what I'm saying? And whoever work with me, they know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I just feel like, I don't feel like I'm getting, you know what I'm saying, the love that I'm supposed to get right now. You know what I'm saying? So, like, right now, I just feel like, you know, I got to show... I gotta show the world like what I'm about, you know what I'm saying? Like by, by any means necessary. So like, let's say that was a young thug, you know, the next drink that might come out might be the eight thug versus designer. You know what I'm saying? You might hit eight thug versus drink. You might hit eight thug versus Meek Mills. You might hit it don't matter. It don't matter how big the name is, how small it is, whatever. I might even do a mixtape with one of my homies. Eight thug versus Drew Drama or eight thug versus Cool and Can. Just to show that it ain't really got nothing to do with that. I'm the best. Right. You feel me? Not even on some best, I want to kill you when I see you or I'm trying to disrespect for you or come at your koofy. Now, I'll put that out and then somebody say something, whatever. <laughs> then it is, whatever. That's something different. Right. But, like, I'm over these things in the world, Like, it's, it's like on some, like, you know what I mean? Like, because it's not like I'm saying, yo, fuck your dog, da 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 You know what I'm saying? At no point in that whole mixtape, you're going to hear nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Or no subliminal disses, you know what I'm saying? If I said something that has to do with that, that like, whatever, then that should just happen to be saying, like, real shit that falls in place with you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Don't give it, you know what I mean? Like, don't you feel a certain way? Like, I, but at the end of the day, like, that's what I'm saying. Because, you know, rap could be taking anything, they listen to it, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm just saying, nah, it ain't that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hype it. You know what I'm saying? But it's a fire mixtape. Right. When you listen to that shit back to back, it's actually a good mixtape. You feel me? So it's like, you know, I'm not going to do nothing that's not even a good sounding thing too. It's a good formula to it. Like, I really go to that. You know what I'm saying? So go, go download that. You know what I mean? That's free. So now if you like that, when you download that, show some love and support. Go get the I'm a Black Woman Stone Volume 2 on Oz, iTunes. Amazon, CD Baby, Rhapsody, whatever, whatever, whatever you want to get, you know what I'm saying? I need that love, you gotta understand, I'm really, 
I'm 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 invested in myself. You know what I'm saying? So I need that every every project I need to make sure like yo. Yo, my fan base is showing that love. Yeah, I can't forget about it. I'm doing that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm hitting up all these radios now. You know what I'm saying? And doing this and doing that really make sure, like, putting the project. Because it's not all about just being the best, obviously. You got to know how to market yourself for more. You know what I'm saying? Network. You know what I'm saying? And, and build your revenue. Step your revenue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Invest back into yourself. No, there's a lot of talent out there that just doesn't know how to do that. And that's why they, you know, despite the skill, don't go anywhere. You know, it's, all, it's, it's an all-encompassing thing. Exactly. Yeah. So my, my thing is, like, I don't want to be one of those people that's, like, you know, just talking about the industry, talking about how everybody's, you know, this and that. You know what I'm saying? And not really monopolizing and mo- momentizing. You know what I'm saying? On a, on a moment, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Basically, like, I'm a businessman, you know what I'm saying? Always been a businessman. Like, and I'm teaching my son to be a businessman, you know what I'm saying? I would say, like, the most similar thing that we saw in history would be, like, Master P. Little Romeo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, for real, like, that's how we gonna get it, and we gonna be the, one of the strongest, biggest empires to ever hit hip hop, black woman songs, I promise, you know what I mean? I, so, you, I, you heard it here. They, that's the next empire right there. That's it won't just be J. It won't just be P. But you want to see uh, A Thug and you want to see Legacy doing their thing. Definitely, yo. Night, line, radio. I just want to say, like, this is an exclusive. This is what you heard at first, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I'm saying? For indie artists, y'all want to get yourself out there, holla at them, man. They're official, you know what I'm saying? Yo, they for the people, for sure. That's you know what, what we mean? do. Um, Night, line, moment, aim. LDM shows holding the Independent Music Awards, like this, the station, our, our, our producers, our, our owners, they're all about supporting independent artists and what they do because they're underappreciated, but very talented, and we want to show them our love, and that's why we got here today. That's why we need people to music, we're going to play your video. That's, he's entered the conference, folks. You got to listen to the LDM app. You got to uh, vote for your favorite people, vote for A-Thug, and, you know, show them some love. Yeah. But now we're going to move on to some more fun stuff. So, a couple of things happened in December, a couple of, you know, a couple of good things, a couple of bad things, but, you know, all in all, this is the ending of 2016, right? right. You know, this is, this is our end of your show, you know, you're a very uh, intellectual individual, right. um, you know, pay attention to his music, he, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. And so, wanted to get your opinion on a couple of things, get, get your review, as well as get mine of this year. Yeah. So uh, one thing I want, I want to start off with, I figured you would have an opinion on about this since you're, you know, Harlemite, like, yeah. you know, my fam. They bring back Showtime at the Apollo. They just had the special the other night. Right. Did, did you get a chance to watch? Uh, with Steve Harvey, right? Yeah, Steve Harvey. Like, yeah, my mom was actually watching it. I was, like, walking by. I had somebody <laughs> in the studio recording at that time. But I actually just performed. You can check on my Instagram, you know. Um, I think it's on the Megastar brand store like on Megastar brand me and my son legacy we actually performed audition for that oh like, nice and, yeah and then the next day like alicia keys was out there like signing autographs and stuff so she had performed we actually gave her the cd like me my girl cali love you know she gave her the cd we thought we really connected with alicia keys we were packing up on the 25th and actually some other dudes that know me had the cd in hand came back and said yo this was on the floor Oh, I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna take it personal. I know that sometimes they would sell the artists don't take no material for whatever reasons because right, 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 things right. like that. That's what I'm thinking maybe might have happened. But like yo, she could have really just <laughs> the devil. And like like she she really don't really realize like yo, Alicia Keys like yo, Black Woman Stones man, we trying to network with you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you know we we wanna we wanna collaborate with you. We wanna feature you on Megastar TV. You know what I mean? We not mad at you. Well, you can put that out there. Yeah. But all, all in all, how do you feel about them bringing it back? I love it. I love it. You know, I love the Apollo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know I remember growing up on yeah. that. I love the Apollo. It's a great show. You know, we need that. You know, we need more shows like that. Yeah, I think it's great for Harlem to just have that back. And Definitely. Uh, it's great. And um, I think young, young, who was that? Uh, somebody was performing there this week, actually. Uh. A Boogie. A Boogie, yeah. A Boogie was popping too. It was like, you know, Mad Team Bob was running up the block. You know and little like, Uzi. Like, a little Uzi, whatever. Shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to them if they want to feature on Megasong TV, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real, for real. So, like, you know, we're not working out here. 
I'm just like you say, these are the young gunners that's actually doing their thing now, you know what I mean, and all that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's like that's like the that's who's popping right now in the streets, you know what I mean? So definitely network with us, back on the stones, you feel me? Alright, I feel you, bro. Um, another thing, uh you know, twenty sixteen is pretty much the end for Obama. So do you have any opinion on what he's done in the last eight years? On um, you know, the fact that he's the first black president, you know, how do you feel about what's happened with him during his administration? Like, as far as what? Well. Do you think he did a good job? Do you think, you know, there were things that he could have done better? Do you... I mean, there's yeah. always things that could be done better, you know what I mean? But um, I think he had his, his pluses, you know what I mean? And he did what he, he could actually be able to do. Like, what, like, that's allowed to be able to be done. Like, it's not, like, we all know it's not a one-man sure. thing. We always already know that certain things is already pre-agenda and pre-planned, you know what I'm saying? So... It's not in the hands of one man to make the decision. Once we understand that, we don't just blame one person, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a face, and it's just actually, as far as swagging, the way he handles different things, like, I think he was one of the best, like, you know what I'm saying? But at, at the end of the day, like, you know, every president ain't gonna be able to change and save the world, and this is what some people actually think. We have to change the world. We have to save the world as the artists. As the people, as a regular person that's walking, the doctors, the lawyers, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has to stand for something. It starts with Finn. You can't just say, president, change the world, this, that, and the third, and you just a piece of shit. No, you gotta change yourself, and maybe the world will change with you. You dig what I'm saying? That's, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? That's true. So on, on that note, do you feel that uh, going into 2017, that there's still, you know, a lot of people feel that the world's gonna go under starting January 20th, you know. You got Trump taking off, it's just like, oh, and then there won't be an American in another four years. So as you said, right, one man can't And there won't be another America? No, the, a lot, there are people who literally say there won't be America. Like me, what? Well, what do they mean by that? Like we're all just gonna <laughs> get killed or, or kicked out or something in the nah. next 40 years. No, nah, But like, nah, do, nah. do you feel that? That's, that's like movie talk. That's like, you know, that's gonna sell movies, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? They gonna make a movie about that. In 1999, they were saying the world's gonna blow up. Remember that one? Oh, yeah, going to 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 2000. It's just one of those things. Like, we as people, we always just making up things, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, you know, it's exciting, you know what I mean? But, nah, I don't fall into all of that. And even if it was, there are different things in history, like, you know, that chaotic things that happen, you know what I'm saying? And then the Bible does talk of these things, but they've been talking about that for a long time, and a lot of people say, it was the end of the year every year, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I'm, just, I'm just living life, you know what I'm saying, and, and doing what I got to do, because those thoughts is like, to me, it could be motivating to move faster, I guess, a little bit, but in a way, it can make you feel like, do reckless things. Like, if you think something's gonna end fast, then you probably might be just doing unconscious things, you know what I'm saying? So it's actually projecting a state of fear onto the people, because they're doing panicky things, you know what I'm saying? So I don't move like that. Like, I'm just, I'm more of a spiritual person either way. Like, I'm destined to move how I move. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna say, this will happen, that will happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Uh, one more serious thing to lead to the fun stuff. Um, there's a big movement right now um, when it comes to you know this, this national aid state passing and you know there's a lot of blood donations that are around this time of year and things like that. Yeah. There's a big push right now to allow gays and uh, bisexual men to donate blood again. You know, after the whole AIDS scare in the eighties and whatnot, like, you know the FDA was just like we can't even take a chance. So do you agree that you know? This should be something that, that gets pushed. Wait, so what was the issue at first? So with the AIDS scare, right? There was yeah. a, there was a, a large testing of HIV in, in gay men, right. um, or bisexual men, right. because you know at the time you know people didn't we weren't sure what it was, why it was called, all the you know all the stuff. Right. So officially, the the rule is that homosexual males and uh, bisexual males cannot donate blood, right. according to the FDA. Here in New York, the uh, health uh, what is it? the the health department is asking the FDA to change this rule so that those who are willing but are also homosexual males can donate blood. You know, and, and of course, as long as it's not infected, right. <laughs> that's a big deal. So you know, the, the 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 issue is that normally if you fill out the paperwork and you check off gay or bisexual, they're just like you can't donate blood. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't even. Oh, yeah, I'm not that. Yeah. So like. 
the question was, do you think that this rule should be changed? You know, it, it was, I mean, how progressive the last two years have been, especially for the gay community. Um, you know, is this something that I you mean, like, with it? the person who's getting the blood, they know who they're getting the blood from, right? They know the type of blood or whatever. I mean, they know the blood type. They, may, they won't know who the individual was. I mean, like, I don't think that really would matter as long as it's, the blood is good. You know what I'm saying? As long as the blood is pure and they, you know, then I don't think that there would be any problem. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I, I mean, I would tend to agree. Yeah. Uh, considering that a lot of blood banks aren't always full, we need as much as we can get. So as long as, you know, it's, you know, you should at least take some, or, you know, even if you take, you know, like, you know, a needle full and test it before yeah. you can absorb it. Like, that oh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was, yeah, of course. Like, I mean, that the, the process to that, yeah, I would think that that, would, that wouldn't matter. Like, but also, given the person that's actually, you know, um, you know, getting the blood, right? Letting them know the options down to the you know, of like the characteristics of the person, the blood that you get. Fair enough. Like right? that's what I would think. Cause like I say, if I if people if I wasn't comfortable with that and then I'm getting blood, like I don't think that I'd be cool. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's just giving the option to the person who's doing so they know so they can select. What, who do I want to get blood from? Right. A person like this, that, 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 whatever. Oh, I just so, don't care. I don't, you know, I'm not going to care. I don't want to care. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, whatever the case may be. Okay. That's when I think it would be a fair, good thing. You know what I'm saying? Because the person knows what they're actually getting. And, and, and yeah. they're getting what they need. All right, fair enough. So when we get back, uh, we're going to go to a break right now. When we get back, we're going to talk about some highlights, some lowlights of 2016, what we're hoping for 2017. And... We're feeling the energy. This one's for the people. I am the I can people. show you better than I can tell you. God, uh. Put your fists up in the air for black power. Cause you know we got that. Black power. It's the melanin in your skin. Black power. Change the world. Rise above. Black power. Put your fists up in the air for. Cause you know we got that Black power It's the melanin in your skin Black power Change the world Rise above lie Black power 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 Power Stand up Rise above for Black power Black power Black power Black power Black power Black power, black power, black power. Put your fist up in the air for. I got black my power. fist up in the air for. Black, 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 black power. Now I say peace, king, not nigga. 187 on a racist cop, nigga. The pain, the change from which we rise above. We don't die, we multiply with the law. Although we cry, we closer to the plug. Fuck me and fly, black fly, put your toasters up. We the only ones to save the day. BRS, the only ones that make the change. He don't love you, girl, his mind on a dope game. Still, you love the way he stroke and his rope chain. They thinking they fading us, but really they making us. I came from Shockman back and you know, scraping up. I realized the message is bigger than making history. The devil got the whole industry. They wanna be niggas and hoes in the industry. I know God sees what the world don't. As I write this, this the realest that I wrote, wrote, wrote. I know God sees what the world don't. As I write this, the realest that I wrote. Put your fist up in the air for black power. Cause you know we got that. Black power, it's the melanin in your skin. Black power, change the world, rise above. Black power, put your fist up in the air for black power. Cause you know we got that. Black power, it's the melanin in your skin. Black power, change the world, rise above.